I'm Helmut and this is my 1958 Golden Hawk. Uh, this car was uh, actually advertised in Western Australia and I went to have a look at it and finally bought it in 1996, brought it back from Western Australia. It was in uh, very run down and rusty condition because it had been parked outside uh, for perhaps six, seven years. My first problem was that I nearly got kicked out of the house by my wife for bringing such a rust bucket <laughs> into the garage. But uh, after stripping it down, it looked worse than what it really was. I stripped it right down to the last nuts and bolts. Uh, had um, sandblasted the body, the chassis, repainted everything, reassembled it, reconditioned the engine, transmission, etc. So, I don't think there's one nut or bolt that I haven't touched. Well, the most difficult work would have been the panel beating, because I've never had anything to do with panel beating before. And on uh, that kind of door, on the rear guards and the rear wings, um, at least half of it had to be replaced. So I used quite a bit of sheet metal and welded new patches in and treated, formed it. Uh, with no experience, even with the welding. I had to do a, a very quick MIG welding course to uh, be able to do all the work myself. And I think uh, apart from the upholstery and some of the paint work, all the work was performed by myself. Well, I was fortunate uh, with spare parts. I had, my oldest son was uh, working in America and he managed to source quite a few second-hand parts and small hard to get parts. But most of the, the local parts I got through Des Skinner from Brisbane and he helped me quite a lot with information. I suppose he got sick of me after a while because of all the faxes I used to send him trying to get some additional information, but he was very helpful. Well, I think the only thing special on the car uh, at the moment would be I've retrofitted disc brakes to the front and also installed power steering. My shoulder is not what it used to be, so with the manual steering it was no enjoyment to take the car out. But now with the power steering it is, it's fun to drive it. Well, I worked on it uh, mostly on weekends and at night for four and a half years to get, uh, get it started and registered. But naturally, with a car like that, even when you get it on the road, you're not finished. It's an ongoing project. I don't think it will ever end. <laughs> 